Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Tittlecom video, we believe we have leaked specifications of the final R9-290X and R9-290. These cards are looking to be absolute monsters. Indeed, they're even faster than what we originally anticipated. In other words, they're even faster than five T-flops. At 5.6 T-flops of computing power, we have the R9-290X. That's 2,816 stream processors, and that's running at 1 gigahertz of engine clock. And once again, that's 5.6 teflops of compute performance. And this is all wrapped up in 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 512-bit memory interface, of course. So a lot of love there. And this is apparently giving about 300 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth and this is powered and this is of course the important part as we already kind of guessed by one six pin and one eight pin power connector this does feature the new amd true audio technology if you're not exactly what sh sure what that is um, i have spoken about it in a separate video it's amd's latest dsp is basically a dedicated signal processing unit particularly for audio um, that AMD are putting on. It's going to be using proprietary technology, but AMD are hoping to start to kickstart the uh, sound um, industry again on computers because previously it's been very much held back by traditional CPU processing. So anyway, it of course will be um, supporting DX11.2 as well as the latest OpenGL which is, happens to be 4.3 as well as AMD's Mantle. AMD's Mantle by the way is a very low level API which allows much better performance from the graphics card. Um, they're basically coding to metal. If you're unsure about that I have got a video on it so you can search Mantle. Meanwhile the cheaper but still very powerful R9 290 will have fewer stream processors. It's going to have 2,560 compared to the 2,816. However, it's still going to be running at a pretty nippy 947 megahertz and is going to have actually 5 point, sorry, 4.9 T-flops of compute performance. So the 290 actually gives you the 4.9, whereas the 290X gives you the 5.6. Of course, it's going to have 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and that, once again, is going to be operating in 512-bit. Um, it takes exactly the same power configuration as previously, so you're looking at one 6-pin and one 8-pin. And once again, of course, it's going to be supporting PCIe3 natively, as well as the true audio technology that we've spoken about and of course DX11.2, OpenGL 4.3 and of course Mantle. Now for those of you who are saying great, 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 okay so how much is that? This is where it gets dicey, we're not sure. Um, various places are putting placeholder prices up so for example in the UK we have one website, uh, might as well skip the name, Overclockers UK. They currently have it listed for 99.99. That's 99 pounds, 99 pennies. So just shy of 100 bucks. And that's the placeholder price. And they're upfront and say, well, you know what? When the card's released, we'll email you and we'll tell you what the actual real price is. And then you can make a decision, you know, do you want to cough up the pennies? Meanwhile, new egg are putting up at 729.99 before tax but this is not official pricing so this is a placeholder price as far as what we're aware and the release date is showing as well we don't know yet so i guess we're just gonna have to kind of wait it's gonna be released at some point in this month we're thinking later half and once again, just to reiterate, these cards are going to be absolute monsters. They're going to be based on completely new technology, which is unlike the other R cards in, say, for example, R7s or the, the lower end R9s. These cards are completely new technology and are looking to be absolutely ridiculously, ludicrously powerful. So if you are thinking that you want to play, for example, the new Call of Duty in 4K resolution, not 1080p, but 4000, or try monitor setup or something similar, 
then these are the cards that you're going to probably want to opt for. Or I suppose you could go with a cheaper solution such as an SLI card or something like that. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And yes, I am just a slight amount of salivation on the thought of this amount of performance. Anyway, I'm going to get going. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.